Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to paint your engine cover and um, it's a fairly inexpensive uh, investment that you can make to uh, to have your engine compartment look a lot better. Um, the only tool you're going to need is um, a 10 millimeter socket uh, and a screwdriver. Uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you where all the bolts are at and uh, the process of removing the cover out of the car so you can start painting it. And then we'll go through some uh, paint options. On the driver side, uh, there's only uh, two bolts. This one right there and one right here. And it's holding this clip. Uh, so when you take this bolt out, you just kind of pull the clip out of the way um, to be able to pull this out. Um, there's a small clip here uh, that you use a flathead screwdriver and you unclip them from back here and it'll, it'll come right out and uh, yeah that's that's the only two bolts that um that you need to remove from this side on the passenger side uh again there's two bolts there's one that locating right here and another one that's holding down this bracket remove that and you should be the pull uh, the cover right out. Um, this is a 2023 uh, C8, so if your model years are uh, a little bit earlier, um, this might might be different. Uh, I'm not sure. So let's go through some of the paint options. Um, uh, I see some other videos, uh, people prefer to just go to the store and, and buy the high temp uh, paint or rattle can. Uh, you can do that, but you're not going to be able to match the color uh, to to your uh, car exactly. Uh, for me, what I like to do is to go to a professional uh, uh, automotive paint store, and you can get yourself one of these. And what this does is they'll mix you uh, the paint uh, to the code that you provide uh, for the paint. And I'll show you where uh, where to find the code for for these C8s. Um, and all you need to do is just, just give them the code and they, they mix for you this type of paint. Um, uh, this, this is a uh, uh, two-part paint and um, it has a little button in the middle and when you're ready, you just push it down and it will mix the hardener with the paint. So uh, it's gonna be very uh, durable and it'll last a long time sitting in the engine bay. Um, so uh, I highly suggest to do this uh, instead of just buying rattle cans from uh, automotive store. Uh, now for uh, the logo, um, uh, I use, uh, yes, the rattle can from uh, the store and you just, uh, just get the high temp red color. Uh, and I use another high temp uh, gray color uh, to, to paint the, um, uh, the logo. Uh, because they, they all come in in, in gray, uh, dark gray, and uh, it's nice to, to paint a logo as well. So uh, yeah, those are the only uh, uh, three paint color that you really need for, for the entire job. Uh, now I'm gonna go show you what that uh, coat is on the car. Under the driver's door, just right before this latch, uh, there's your paint coat right there. It's located right here, and um, that's that's the only code that you're gonna need to uh, show the guys at the automotive store, and um, they'll make to you the uh, perfect match for your car color. I forget to mention before that um, uh, you, uh, I use a paintbrush uh, to paint the logo, and what I did was uh, I just uh, sprayed this. Uh, into a uh, plastic container, uh, plastic cup or whatever, uh, to get to get the paint, and then I use a uh, just a, a little paintbrush to paint the logo. So uh, you really don't want to spray paint the logo. Uh, just use a paintbrush; it'll be fine. So what I did was um, I used painter's tape, the uh, the blue one, uh, to tape this portion of it on both sides, and the logo, of course and uh and then paint on it uh peel the tape in an hour or two when the paint is uh somewhat dry but not completely dry um 
uh, that, that way uh, it's easier to peel and uh, it, it doesn't uh, cause dam damage to, uh, to your paint when you try to peel the tape. Um, the logo um, painted using a paintbrush doesn't look too bad at all, quite easy. Um, yeah, overall it's a, it's a really simple uh, procedure and uh, your, your engine compartment looks so much better. I've seen some other people adding uh, engine covers uh, on both sides. Um, I opt not to do that. I, I think uh, it's not a good idea, uh, you know, to, to cover your catalytic converter. You can see that the catalytic converter is right there and um, they, they're very, very hot. Uh, the heat is uh, designed to rise up and through these clearance. So when you start covering all of those things, heat's gonna stay down there, and uh, which is not healthy for, for your engine. So uh, I opt just to leave it wide open like that. Uh, it, it looks great uh, already. There's no need for those covers. So this is this, uh, uh, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, please uh, leave a comment if you have questions on anything. anything. Uh, be uh, happy to answer and uh, please uh, subscribe.